Hi grade 11 student. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a ledger account and I'm going to show you some calculation that you need to know for your test preparation or for your, your examination preparation. So please make sure that you stay tuned, watch until the end of the video so that you will gain some knowledge about a fixed assets ledger account. Okay, let's go to our question. So use the information extracted from accounting record of josh traders to prepare the following account in the general ledger okay number one they said we have to prepare vehicle account which i drafted here number two accumulated depreciation on vehicle i drafted number three they said assets disposal so for assets disposal guys i already did the video for this part so please make sure that after this video go and watch assets disposal account okay i did it for the same question okay then number three they said we have to prepare depreciation account and balance or close of the account on 29 february 2016 okay then information on 1 march 2015 this is opening balances okay because our year is ending february 2016 which means that 2015 is a start of the reporting period okay on 1 march 2015 the following balance appeared among others in the books of George traders okay the first one they give us opening balance of vehicle what you have to know about vehicle guys know that vehicle is an asset assets increase on the debit and decrease on the credit and please make sure that you record only the cost of the vehicle only on this account and when you bought a vehicle record this side when you sold record this side very simple vehicle is coming in it's a plus vehicle is going out it's minus okay very simple okay now we have the opening balance of course our opening balance is going to the debit side we're gonna have a balance uh, of 759,000. okay then accumulated depreciation we are talking about negative assets in other words accumulated depreciation is subtracting what assets because it's also part of what of assets but this one uh, we mostly record uh, in a negative way why because when the vehicle lose value which means that they are going to reduce value of of assets which means that we are going to record this side okay our opening balance will come this side a balance which is two 97 and 750 okay then on on 31 august a vehicle with original cost price of 180 was sold for credit okay in other words the cost price guys of this vehicle we have to recognize it this side to indicate that the vehicle will no longer have it okay it was sold on credit which means that we can say it is a creditor's control which means that under creditors control we are going to record 180 on the debit side okay it's gonna be 180 000. okay now let's proceed they said uh, it was sold for hundred thousand this hundred thousand guys we are not going to record it anyway here it's part of assets disposal Okay, which you are going to check it when uh, we complete this video. Okay, um, then they said accumulated depreciation on this vehicle on one March amounted to 160. This 160 obviously is going to help us to calculate what a depreciation for this uh, asset disposal. Okay, we're still going to do this calculation because we also have to find what depreciation. Okay, then they said on one December. 2015 a new vehicle was purchased on credit by 200,000 a new vehicle guys was purchased on credit creditors control control and amount is 100 is 200 apology amount is 200 we sold it at 200,000. We record on the debit side because now we have more 
vehicle. Then depreciation, we use 20% per annum on diminishing balance method. Okay, we have a different depreciation that we are going to calculate, guys. Number one, we are going to calculate depreciation for sold vehicle. Number two, for boat. And number three, for old vehicle. Okay, let's start by the sold one. The sold one, guys, we need to calculate depreciation from uh, beginning of the year until it's sold on 31 August, which means that we're going to have how many months? We're going to have August. Uh, okay, on 31 August 2015, a vehicle with original cost price of 180 was sold for credit by 100,000. Accumulated depreciation on this vehicle on 1 March 2015 amounted to 60,000. Okay, they recorded a depreciation until March, which means that we're going to start from March until August. It's going to be March, April, May, June, July, August 31. Okay, it's going to be six months. How are we going to calculate it? We are going to say Remember, we are using diminution balance method, which means that we need to say 180,000 minus accumulated of 60,000. Then we said multiply by 20% and multiply by 6 over 12. Then this depreciation is going to give us, okay, let me wrap here, it's going to give us 12,000. Okay, let's do calculation. Let's do all calculation first. Then the second one now, the one that was bought, a new one. Okay, so for a new one, we bought it by 200,000. Remember, it's still new, which means that accumulated depreciation in this case is still zero, which means that we just need to multiply by 20%. Then we multiply by how many months? From December, December, January, February, it's going to be 3 over 12. Okay. Then if you do this, you're going to get 10,000. All right. Then the last depreciation that we are going to calculate, guys, is for old, for old uh, vehicles. Remember, we have this balance of 759000 Okay, but we must subtract the one that has been sold because we calculated separate here, which means that we're going to say 759000 180000 Okay, and we also have to minus what? Accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation at the beginning, it was 297,750 and we subtract 60,000, the one that has been sold because it was calculated separate. Okay, this side is going to give you 579,000 minus... Uh, to 37 750 this is the answer of this one then after that because we are going to get carrying value now of old uh, vehicles we can just say multiply by 20 percent they were there for the whole year which means that it's 12 over 12 uh, which is not necessary because it's going to give us the same answer okay then we're going to get the precision of 68 to 50 Okay, that's three depreciation that is needed, guys, so that we can be able to proceed. Okay, now let's start by accumulated depreciation side. We record on the credit. When we move to depreciation, we record on the debit. We're going to start by depreciation of the one that has been sold. It's 12,000. Okay, depreciation of new one. It's, uh, it's not 100,000, it's 10,000. 
Okay, then depreciation of old one is 68,250. Very simple. Now we need to transfer them into depreciation. We're going to write accumulated depreciation. Okay, there are three. There is no opening balance when it comes to depreciation, guys. And we don't close off like it to carry down under depreciation okay because depreciation is part of p and l profit and loss income statement so we don't do opening and closing we only record for the current year okay we're gonna have twelve thousand ten thousand and sixty eight two fifty okay Then we need to get balances here. Okay, here you can just share that profit on loss. It will indicate that you are going to record it under income statement. Total is 90,250. It's 90,250. Okay, now we need to close off this account so if you have been watching until here guys thank you so much for supporting us please please before you leave make sure that you have subscribed to this channel it's free of charge to subscribe guys make sure that you like and share with friend who are doing this accounting so that you can go together when you go to grade 12 we really really appreciate your subscription guys that's why we keep recording videos each and every day to make sure that you keep updated for different kind of question papers thank you so much guys okay now let's close off this account let's start by this one we check which side is higher okay if you check the higher side of course is this one because this side we only have one eight so which means that we're gonna add this two and we get nine fifty nine thousand nine fifty nine thousand okay and then we're going to balance this side. Balance is going to give us 779,000. And after that, we're going to close it off this side. Carry down this side. Balance. This is going to be balance, opening balance for next year. Okay. Now, this side, uh, obviously, guys, we, after that, there is a depreciation that we need to take it out here. Why? Remember, we have a vehicle that we no longer have it because we sold it, which means that we have to, when we close off, we must do what? Subtract that balance first of depreciation. Okay. Remember, is this 12,000? And what? And 60,000. Why 60,000? Remember, they said that vehicle had a accumulated of 60,000 before we calculate 12,000. We must add them together and this 72,000, we're going to subtract it. Okay, then after that, we obviously this side is the higher one. We're gonna get a balance here and after that we do the balance this side. Okay, the balance here that you're going to get here, you say total and you write it here. The same total must be the same here. Then after that, you need to subtract this one. It will give you this one. So tell me on the comment section how much you got. So that at least I will know that there are people who are watching this video and they are doing some calculation to verify whether we are doing it correctly or not. Make sure that you comment, guys, uh, the balance that you got here. I'm going to see you on the next one. And please make sure that you also check a fixed assets account using the same question paper on the video playlist of grade 11. I'm gonna see you.